violent behaviors and uh, this is what uh, stays on their mind. When they see uh, violence in movies, they see that always one of them is hurt. And when they see uh, him or, her, or whoever is hurt, they will, uh, they will be scared that they might be victims. And this leads to not trusting others and taking with them self, uh, self, uh, protective, uh, self, self protective uh, things. Uh, they uh, also uh, think that uh, when you have a problem, you should not solve it by uh, talking to someone or by uh, they start thinking that you should use violence. And this is very bad for everyone. I think that the violence in TV shows and in, uh, in TV shows and movies it does have a negative effect on children and the others who watch because the violence that is shown uh, that is shown on those TV shows and movies makes us think that that is the right thing to do and so uh, we think that we should use the violence as a way to protect all ourselves from danger and I don't think that's a nice thing to do. Uh, and almost forgot, I heard about empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand the uh, others' feelings and to be like help, uh, to be to try to help them. And there are some studies that say that uh, the uh, people who watch more violence movies they have a low, uh, they have lower uh, empathy uh, uh, percent. It is proven that some of the children that watch violent movies have uh, some behaviors, have some violent behaviors, and uh, also children who play video, vi violent video games, uh, can also change their behaviors because they focus so much on TV shows or games, and they start being addicted to them, and uh, they like shooting people. Or things like this, maybe one day they would like to get real life points, like in the video games, for example, uh, killing someone, or uh, things like this. And uh, something else that is important about video, uh, violent movies or TV shows is that when uh, children mostly watch them, they uh, start uh, thinking that the world is uh, a place full of war and violence, and this is how they uh, might change their personality, and they might be more like closed inside because of the fears they have for the outside world. Uh, that's, this is the reason why children Especially teenagers have to make a balance between real world and virtual world. Uh, uh, the gist uh, of uh, these arguments usually comes from the idea that you are what you watch. Uh, in essence, uh, for example, if uh, Lebo Billy sees a shooting in the TV, uh, he'll want to go out, buy a gun and shoot somebody. Uh, well, uh, it's uh, true that parents should uh, overwatch their kids, you know, for the stuff they see on TV. Uh, but uh, the one-on-one one -on -one report is uh, really more different than uh, what appears. Uh, violent, uh, it's true that violent TV appearances has, uh, have raised exponentially, uh, both in instances and degree of violence in the last uh, 15 years. Uh, but uh, however, uh, violent juvenile crime has lowered by 35% in the last uh, 20 years. Uh, it has also started going up, you know, in the few years, but you can just go out and blame the TV for it. Uh, <laughs> uh, the major idea of, uh, you know, this uh, this, uh, that kids learn from uh, learn, uh, learn bad stuff from violence in uh, TV uh, comes from an experiment uh, that was made by a psychologist. I can't remember the name right now. Uh, the idea was that uh, there was this adult man and uh, he was uh, assaulting a punch bag with a clown face in it. And uh, when the kid was presented to the punch bag, he also started, you know, assaulting it. Uh, and uh, that's where the idea comes, that uh, the kids have an uh, observational role model uh, and <coughs> have an observational role model and uh, they, do what, uh, they do what they see. Uh, but uh, there is also another fact that uh, 
the kids uh, the kids didn't see any uh, any uh, any bad bad stuff any bad thing uh, on punching the clown you know they didn't see any consequences on it and they kept doing and it's also fun you can blame them Uh, watching the uh, uh, live TV shows uh, can uh, also teach the children that uh, to get used to what life puts them through. So bad things and good things. Uh, so uh, children uh, uh, should uh, it should be known uh, that uh, life isn't just a garden of flowers, but it is uh, also a life that it is uh, it has a lot of difficulties, and um, uh, we have to get uh, through them. Uh, while uh, watching uh, movies uh, and TV shows uh, uh, don't have a bad effect that they uh, the children, it's uh, sure uh, the children can uh, understand uh, the message from the uh, movie that they are watching, and uh, they uh, teach us for the future to learn from the mistakes that uh, uh, people make in the movie that they are watching. Violent movies and TV shows uh, can also inspire children on how quickly to react uh, when they find themselves on different situations of life. Uh, TV can also help uh, children to get out of their comfort zone and uh, they can get a bit of clue of what this world is really about and what they, uh, it really surrounds them. Uh, it's not specified that if you see someone that is shooting another person in a movie that you're just going to go outside and shoot someone because that's play stupidity. And uh, parents aren't really always uh, there at, or at home to protect their children from what they're watching so they really can't prevent doing that and they can't stop them. And the children really can't make a difference between good or bad. So if I may repeat what I said earlier, they think that, it, uh, that, that what they see in the violent movie is a good thing to do. <clears throat> uh, it's true that in uh, movies uh, there are shown difficulties of life, but violent movies are not all about them. Uh, they are about the difficulties in life and how to solve them. And they think that when you have a problem with someone, you should use violence. And I think this is why uh, violent movies affect negatively, uh, negative, negatively in, uh, in children. And violence, I think, has nothing to do with mistakes. It has to do when uh, like you make a mistake and you want to punish someone by using violence. Okay, uh, violence is not the solution of different problems. Trying to talk and com communicate with people is. These movies are t and TV shows are showing us the exact opposite. Uh, they are a bad example for us and that's why we stand here today uh, saying that violent movies and TV shows have a negative uh, effect on children. And uh, <clears throat> I feel kind of sorry to say, but uh, the other arguments sounded more like pro-arguments. <laughs> and I uh, couldn't understand more uh, what they were like uh, 
uh, what they were saying that the, uh, why uh, why they think it's not uh, uh, it's not negative uh, these uh, movies. But I also want to say again for the empathy uh, that uh, that is also bad for everyone, not just for children, because having uh, not trusting others that leads to maybe uh, staying alone and uh, other problems that are very serious. Uh, it uh, has also, I, you know I'm basing on studies and facts the whole time, uh, it has also been proved that people who don't watch TV shows, uh, violent TV shows in this case, uh, have a harder time facing uh, violence or violent acts uh, while they grow up. Uh, me, myself, I have been watching every single episode of Walking Dead and Breaking Bad, if you have ever heard about it. Uh, I'm still young, but uh, it has. Uh, they're both violent, quite violent, and I'm still young. But uh, for example, Walking Dead has taught me to face. Uh, what is it like to face difficulties in life? Loss of family members, loss of great friends. Uh, how is it like to try uh, so hard just to survive for another night? Breaking Bad has shown me. Uh, how, uh, how hard a man should try to, to, to bring, to bring just, just to bring food, to bring income to his family. How hard, uh, how tight a man holds on to his family. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> uh, it's not that uh, violent TV shows uh, only, only just show violence and uh, just blood, but they also have a great theme if you can actually stop and think about it for a minute. Well, all, uh, all this kind of movies uh, that uh, start with a good thing, but uh, always uh, have something bad that destroy, uh, destroys the uh, good, uh, good story in a movie. Uh, but uh, what we learn from these uh, movies is that uh, we learn that there is always some, uh, something good and we have to uh, try hard uh, to, fi uh, to find it and to have a better life. Um, also, uh, by watching violent uh, movies, uh, children can get really defensive and know how to uh, protect themselves. And by watching violence uh, on movies, they can get against it and uh, also uh, hate it. I am not 14, but all my life I've watched different movies that inspire me to stand up for myself. One of them is Never Give Up. Uh, it includes a lot of violence, but uh, it is very inspiring to a lot of people. And it's also very popular and um, it, it learned me how to set up myself. I also would like to say that uh, in every bad thing, uh, we have to find the good thing. So uh, we can find the good thing uh, uh, for watching the violent movies. Um, th that uh, we don't always, uh, if you watch a violent movie, you don't have, it, it doesn't mean that you're going to uh, go out and kill somebody or uh, 